Hi friends, Miss Carter Offley here. Um, today I have two books that we're gonna read and they're all about spending time outdoors and summertime. And I thought they would be good books because summer is right around the corner. And yeah, so the books that we're gonna read today are Camping Day and Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach. So I'm going to start off with Scaredy Squirrel by Melanie Watt. Warning, Squ Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone put on number 65 sunscreen before reading this book. Just kidding. Scaredy Squirrel never goes to the beach. He'd rather vacation at home alone where it's safe than risk being surrounded by the wrong crowd. Take a beach vacation. A few crowds Scaredy Squirrel wouldn't want to be caught in the middle of. Herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, tons of falling coconuts, and mobs of lobsters. So he's perfectly happy to build his very own private beach. Hmm, let's see what that looks like. Scaredy Squirrel's Guide to Building a Safe Beach. What you need to get started. Paper and crowns, one stick, one inflatable pool, one flashlight, a bag of kitty litter, a plastic flamingo. Draw beach scenery. Use stick to hold upright, cover ground with sand, inflate ocean, turn on sunlight, install beach wildlife. Oh my goodness, so silly. It looks like a beach and it feels like a beach, but it doesn't sound like one. Scaredy Squirrel notices something's missing, the soothing sound of the ocean. Oh my goodness, the squirrel built his own beach. The solution Make a quick trip to the real beach and find a seashell that fits the description below. Seashell, quality and performance chart. Germ-free, check. Shiny exterior, check. Crystal clear ocean sound, check. Red alert, seashell must not, I repeat, not be occupied. So they don't want anyone to be living in that shell. But traveling to the real beach requires careful planning. First, get a passport. So there's his little passport. Second, draw a map. Beach map. Mission seashell. So this is how he goes to the beach. And last but not least, travel late and dress accordingly. Scaredy's beach wear. This squirrel is a trained professional. Don't try this at home. So he's all suited up, getting ready to go to the beach. The next morning, as planned, Scaredy Squirrel jumps into the box. At 7.30 a.m., he gets picked up and they drive and drive. At 8.42 a.m., Scaredy gets dropped off and waits and waits. Oh, so he's making his way to the beach. 11.42 a.m. A crowd appears. Caution, live animal. People were not part of the plan. Oh no. Scaredy Squirrel panics and... Plays dead 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. Somebody made him decorated him. Finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the perfect seashell is right under his nose. Surrounded by friendly people, he decides to join the crowd. Scaredy Squirrel builds sandcastles, takes pictures, floats around in the ocean, and some bays with the others. He forgets all about the flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, tons of falling coconuts, and mobs of lobsters. 
he's glad to be part of the crowd. Back home after a day of fun in the sun, Scaredy Squirrel's inspired to make one more important addition to his own beach. Hmm, I wonder what he learned when he went to the real beach. A crowd! Oh my goodness, look at all those gnomes. He wanted friends. PSA for Scaredy's next visit to the beach, it might be sooner than he thinks. Oh, he had fun. Nice, I hope we get to go to the beach soon. Okay, Camping Day is the second book that I'm gonna be reading to you guys. What shall we do today, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Cook out, said Sam. Hang out, said Pam. Work out, said Will. Camp out, said Jill. Yes, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Take maps, said Sam. The packs, said Pam. The lights, said Will. The tent, said Jill. We're off, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Ooh, they're about to go on a cool adventure. They drove and drove and drove and drove. They parked their van beside a grove. North, south, east, west. They picked the trail that looked the best. Oh, look at those little bunnies, so cute. They hiked through woods. They climbed hills too. They stopped inside. Wow, what a view. Birds, said Sam. Trees, said Pam. Flowers, said Will. Bees, said Jill. Freeze, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Uh-oh. They crossed a stream. They jumped a fence. Let's camp right here. Set up our tent. Tie where, said Sam. Peg there, said Pam. Can't see, said Will. Help me, said Jill. Finally, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Let's eat, said Sam. Hot dog, said Pam. And bean, said Will. Oops, toots, said Jill. P.U., said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. S'more, said Sam. More, said Pam. Song, said Will. Story, said Jill. Scary, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. They put out their fire, they put out their light, they shivered in the ink black night. Who snored, said Sam. Who roared, said, asked Pam. Who growled, asked Will. Who yowled, asked Jill. Whoops. Oh, let's see. Let's see, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Wide jaws, cried Sam. Long claws, cried Pam. Big paws, cried Will. Loud roar, cried Jill. Dinosaur, cried Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Let's scram, cried Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Hmm. They grabbed their things, they ran and ran. They sped away in their small van. Stop, said Sam. Safe, said Pam. Home, said Will. Let's camp, said Jill. Zzz, snorted Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Oh, so they went home and camped in their backyard. Very cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoy these books, and I hope you get some time to play outside soon. Alrighty, see you soon.